So what we have here today is two different LEDs. One, the little tiny guy here, made in about 1978. And the uh, clear one there is a modern one purchased recently. And we're going to see just how much of a difference there is between the two of them. What we have here right now is on our on our meter here, we're on the 10 milliamp scale. And so that'd be zero milliamps, um, two, four, six, eight, and we're on 10 milliamps full. So the red scale is actually the AC scale, but uh, you'd use the black one, but they're so close for this purpose, it doesn't really make much of a difference. And we can see on the meter here, uh, what the voltage is that we're actually applying to the two diodes. There's a 150 ohm resistor right here that we're using for current lim so limiting so we don't just uh, cook anything. But that right there, we're actually right about here, is only one milliamp. And we can see that the red one, I'll turn some lights out right here, we can see the modern one here is quite bright, especially compared to that old uh, small one there and that's only at a milliamp. It's quite surprising how much light this thing will actually put out um, Both of them are facing pretty much towards the lens. So that's a fairly accurate representation right there um, If we crank them up to about 10 milliamps and I'm gonna take and turn the lights back on here If we crank these guys up to about 10 milliamps Well, let's go to five first we can see the, red, the new one's getting quite bright. Uh, the, the small one is actually rated for about 20 milliamps. That was very common back in the day. Uh, again, 1978-ish. And uh, you, right there, you're kind of getting swamped out. You can't even really see the, the little guy all that much by the other new one being so much brighter. So we can see that across the both of them, these are hooked in series, so they're getting exactly the same amount of current because your your current flows through this and go from ground to the positive side. Uh, they might have a slightly different voltage across them, but that would be partly because the, these colors, it may be a little difficult to see in the video, but the red, the small guy here is more towards the red end. This uh, other one has a little more towards the orangish side. It's still red to my eyes, but it's, uh, you can tell it's a little bit oranger. So this is going to have probably a slightly higher voltage uh, drop across it. But uh, the, the whole thing is only three, well, you can see 3.7 volts here. Um, I'm going to turn it down now to basically nothing. We'll watch these guys go out and uh, we'll see how much current it really takes. Again, this being the 10 milliamp scale, I want to see just where it actually starts, where I can see it with my eye and I can, if I'll, I'll pull, push this towards the camera lens again, and you can see there's a small amount of uh, red light coming out of that. You notice that the meter itself isn't even really moving. So I'm going to take and move this over to the 50 microamp scale. So be this old Simpson, and she's a, she's a beauty. And there's 50 microamps. So 50, 40, there's, there's 10, 10 microamps right there. So we're running around eight microamps and this uh, modern LED is starting. Uh, the, little, the little old guy hasn't even thought about it yet. So quite the difference.